So, Mark, where are we now? <laughs> <laughs> Twin Ponds. We're, we're bouncing around all over the place, aren't we? We're still at Twin Ponds. Well, yeah. Uh, we're at Twin Ponds Park in Shoreline, Washington. Um, on the same April day, we filmed about a while this ago for Truth Functional. We haven't washed our clothes since then. <laughs> so, we want to talk about the scope of quantifiers and uh, the main operator in a predicate sentence in predicate logic. So I'm going to write a sentence on the board and Mark's going to answer some questions about it. I hope to. Okay, so let's see. For all x, fx, horseshoe, gx. So for every x, uh, we're assuming the universal domain. So the universe is our domain. So our variables range over everything in the entire universe. So for everything in the entire universe, if it's f, then it's g. If it bears the predicate f, it bears the predicate g. So um, let's make this a compound sentence. So I'm saying that or everything is g. How's that? So what, what's the scope of the quantifiers? What's the scope? Of, what's the main operator in the sentence? Okay. Well, we've got a number of operators, connectives. We've got one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. The one of them will be the main connective. Okay. Uh, again, the main connective has the largest scope. So, for instance, if I think of this horseshoe, the scope of the horseshoe is itself plus its antecedent and its consequent. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good sized scope. The scope of this quantifier is itself plus the statement it's quantifying. Mm -hmm. The scope of that quantifier is itself plus this entire conditional that is quantifying. So this is a bigger scope than that. But this wedge has as a scope the universal statement to the right and the universal statement to the left. It has the largest scope, so that's the main operator, main connective, mm -hmm. which makes a statement as a whole a big old disjunction. Right, because remember that we name a, a sentence in terms of its main connective or main operator. So if the wedge is the main operator, the wedge be representing disjunction, then the whole sentence is called a disjunction. So if the main operator here had been an ampersand, we'd call this sentence conjunction. Mm -hmm. So we have a universal quantification here. For every x, if it's f, then it's g. Then it's disjoined to a universal quantification. Everything is g. And so the scope of this uh, uh, quantifier is from it from here to here. Yes. That's the scope of the quantifier. The scope of this quantifier is from here to here. So then a quantifier scope is the same as if it were a negation, isn't it? Yeah, actually this thing here is very similar yeah, good to this. And this kind of looks kind of old and clunky at this point, but just like this tilde is affecting this entire conditional, so too that quantifier is affecting that entire conditional. Right. That's the main connective of this. This is the main connective of that. Or operator. Operator. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, think of, if you're wondering about the scope of a quantifier, imagine it being a tilde and then ask what would its scope be if it were a tilde? And that'll tell you the scope of the quantifier. Yeah. So then we say that these variables fall within the scope of the quantifier. And so we say that these variables are bound by the quantifier. So uh, a quantifier will have a scope and any variable in the scope that is the same as the variable in the quantifier is said to be bound by the quantifier. So these variables are bound by this quantifier, but is this variable bound by this quantifier? No. It's not, because it's not within the scope of this quantifier. So this variable is bound by this quantifier, but not by this. So this quantifier binds that variable, this quantifier binds those variables, and the wedge joins them and that's the main operator. Good. I want to do another one real quick. How about this? It's not the case that for every x, fx, not the case that some x, gx. How's that? Okay. Well, once again, we have let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five different operators. Okay, which one's the main operator, the main connective? Well, let's see. This quantifier here is going to affect itself and the fx, so that's its scope. This tilde affects itself, 
plus that universal statement that it's glued to or it's working on. So this is working just on this. I like that yeah. word, working on. Mm -hmm. This operates on or works on this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This quantifier here operates or works on the GX. And just like over there, this tilde is affecting this existential statement. So its range is a bit bigger than that. Mm -hmm. But this horseshoe has as, has as its antecedent this entire negated universal statement and has as its consequent this entire negated existential statement. It's got the biggest scope. It's the main connective, main operator. Right. So the scope of the <coughs> tilde is just that. The scope of this tilde is that. The scope of this horseshoe is that all the way to there, the whole thing. So the main connective is the horseshoe, so what do we call this sentence? This is a, a conditional. It's a conditional or a material conditional. The antecedents of negation, the consequence of negation, mm -hmm. the thing as a whole is conditional implication. Mm -hmm. So the tilde has a bigger scope than the quantifier. Yeah, in this case. Yeah. Now, um, you, I sometimes uh, like to put parentheses here, and it's acceptable and uh, perfectly fine to have parentheses like that to make sure it's clear that this is one unit that's, uh, that this applies to, that this is one unit that this applies to. Some teachers, some logic teachers like to have parentheses there and, and Mark I think is among those who prefer not to and so some teachers will write these the way I originally wrote them. And some teachers will put parentheses right. around that. It's acceptable either way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, it's pretty clear that this quantifier only applies to the FX. Because you, so you wouldn't have a quantifier, a universal quantifier, sitting next to a single capital F. Yeah, yeah it w wouldn't, wouldn't be it. legal. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be legal for this to apply only to this and for this to be hooked to something else. Yeah, so it's obvious that this is uh, the scope of the quantifier. And so these aren't needed. I don't know, I just have always liked to put these in, but they're not necessary. So these are both acceptable. So uh, there's, you think that's enough? I think that's enough. Okay, we hope that's helpful. Yeah.